Daddy, this is rubbish. No, darling. No, it isn't. Because in episode 6, we got... What the fuck? <laughs> this is One Pet at a Time. The Extreme Edition. On the last episode of Extreme One Pet at a Time, we completed a ton of quests, including Dragon Slayer, Legends Quest, Regicide, Roving Elves... We embarked on a theatre of blood in an effort to get stamina potions for our POH pool. And from this episode, episode 8, we are currently locked to the beaver pet. So we're starting the next episode by a con with con God, great start guys. Uh, we're starting the next episode by carrying on with the recipe for disaster. So there is 150 quest points. And another piece of Recipe for Disaster done. Only two left, which is the a monkey fella and the this fella. Uh, so I think we'll do this guy next, and then we'll get the cooking level for that fella. So I need to get a chompy for this quest, um, which is kind of a bad thing, because chompies roll uh, for the chompy pet. But luckily for me... Only after you've completed the Elite Western Provinces Diary. So it seems we're going to get away with it. Right, time to hand the jubbly to uh, Scratch Ooglugulului. Uh, and there we go. Right, I think that's now access to Rune Gloves. And I just need to uh, get the cooking level to do, uh, to do the monkey fella. I don't think I fully appreciated how long these black demon tasks would take. The kills per hour is so slow with the dragon scimitar. And no slayer helm. Oh my god, a hundred more of them is gonna... God, the builders are going fucking crazy. A uh, hundred more of them is gonna take, I don't know, probably two hours, almost. Wild. This task has been so incredibly long but it's finally done, and we... Oh, wow! What are the what are the chances of that on the last kill of the task? Um, but we only got one brimstone key from that many black demons. That's probably pretty unlucky. Um, but, yeah, time to get our next task, which we will almost certainly be getting 50 Slayer on. So, as it turns out, because I have no... Um, Oh, for goodness sake. Because I've got no raw fish in the bank, the mess hall is actually my best bet uh, for fast cooking XP. So this is kind of where we're at at the moment, which is quite annoying because this is quite irritating content to do in terms of just mechanically what you actually have to do. Um, I'll, I'll fuck that up again. Um... But yeah, it's not not great, but it's what we're going to have to do to get up to 65 cooking so that we can finish RFD. So I want to get to 62 agility ASAP because uh, that is the level that you need for... Um, what's it called? Um, that you need to do the shortcut. N uh, in Karend, like the one to get up to... Um, what's it? Uh, what's her name? Konar. The one to get up to Konar requires 62 agility. So, seeing as I'm so close, I may as well do it. Um, and turning in, turning in these fossils is probably a decent way to um, to get some XP, right? Uh, so, I'll do that. Right, this is large. That's small. That's small. Okay, right. Let's crack on see how many XP lamps we can get. Right, we can't actually bank the XP lamp, so I'm just going to have to use them. So these are from Smalls, and they're 2k XP each. That's pretty cool. How many more fossils have we got? Decent little amount. Oh, that's so lame. I cleaned my 10, uh, my 10 large fossils, and four of them were these plant ones. Um, so... I'd... Yeah, exactly. That's so annoying. Oh... So that means I'm like one short. All right, so let's see what XP we can get from these lamps. We need 19k, 2k from the easy, 3.5k from each of the medium. So I hope. No, I'm not getting 7.5k from one, surely. 5k, yeah. Right, so we're 2.5k short. Lame. <laughs> right, I'm planning on doing some, uh, some Guardians of the Rift this evening on mobile. And I've just realised. 
I'm way past 56 agility now, so I'll be able to use the, um, you know, the giant guardian rather than being one of the plebs that stood at the top next to the table. That's going to be so nice. Right, there is... Oh, I've dragged my client weird, haven't I? Uh, let's fix that. I think I had to do it for the sheep part. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, right, we have just finished a Morning's End part 1. 40k thieving XP, that is nuts. Um, cool, right, that's done. And now I need to just do Morning's End part 2. Which I'm sure is going to be a lot, lot longer. Now, the reason I actually want to do Morning's End part 2 is because... I'm now 67 runecrafting, coming up 68, and I'm still doing quite a lot of Guardians of the Rift. Um, and if I do Morning Ten Part 2, I can craft Death Runes at Guardians of the Rift. And doing that will get me quite a big head start when I get to Slayer, because I don't really have a great way to make money at the moment. Um, so if I get something like a Blood Veil Task or a Jellies Task, I can't really um, afford... To, uh, to burst it in any sort of meaningful way. Um, so if I start doing Guardians of the Rift with Death Runes available, that'll be great. It also gets me 60k agility XP, which is pretty huge. Um, and I also believe it would be the last quest in the storyline that I'd need for Song of the Elves as well, right? Um, so it's all stuff we need to do anyway, but if I just do it now, it'll be useful. So yeah, Morning's End Part 2, Making History, which is nothing, and then just the skill requirements. Um... So yeah, we're, we're edging closer, edging closer, but right, time to go do Morning's End Part 2 and suffer through that puzzle. In fact, that's not even going to be the bad bit, it's the 50 items that's the bad bit, because on all my previous Iron Men, I've waited uh, till I could get a Death Talisman at like 90, uh, at 90 Slayer, but now uh, now this is going to be a bit more, a bit more arduous. Oh my fucking god, I failed that bloody handhold thing over there. I'm not joking, 15 times in a row. What's the agility requirement for this quest? Like, I've got 61. Is that not actually okay-ish? I've failed this so much. I've, I've had to go to the bank to get more food because I've failed it so much. If I don't forget it, like, in the next two goes, I'm going to bank again. Oh, my God! Okay, I believe this is as done now with the light puzzles, is it? Enter, enter, enter. Okay, right, and then I, I just have to make sure that I turn this all back around again, don't I? Okay. <laughs> Holy fuck! I just realised how close this was, right? So, as one of the three tickets that you have to get to complete Morning's End Part 2, um... Look, you need one of these three tickets. Archery ticket, Castle Wars ticket, Agility Arena ticket. You roll the Agility pet going for that. So I could have been Agility locked out of Morning's End Part 2. But luckily, I got the Archery ticket, which is which is fine. Oh my god. I didn't even realise that that was like an option until just then. That's mental. God, I so nearly got screwed then. Wow. Oh, oh no, I fucked up. I'm going to have to go back via the underground pass for fuck's sake. Oh, why am I like this? I just got my archery tickets, but that seemed like quite good range XP. Let's try that again. I want to see what the XP per hour is on this. So the XP per hour on this is actually not bad. It's 35-ish uh, K per hour. And it's like so low effort, literally all you do is this. Click. 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 That's crazy. Is that not decent XP? Particularly if you were a lower level than 62. I mean, I think that's probably about what I'm getting at Ammonite Crabs, to be honest. But if I was a lower level, this wouldn't be too bad, would it? And it's completely free, because he gives you the arrows. And you get no hit points XP. So this must be a decent way to train range if you are an Iron Man and don't have access to a cannon but want to stay 10 hit points, I guess. Do you know the most tragic bit about me having to get all these items is that I actually have like 300 rewards at Guardians of the Rift stacked up, so if I could have searched the uh, the chest or the rewards guardian thing, 
I'd have a catalytic, catalytic talisman and I wouldn't have even needed to do this. So it is literally our restrictions making us have to get these uh, 50, 50 items. But I think this is everything they need. And I finally got the death talisman. And my God, that took a long time. Okay, I believe this is the end of the quest. We got so lucky on the archery ticket instead of the uh, agility arena ticket. But there we go, 60,000 agility XP, 63 agility from that. And we are, oh, I can use that Tavali dungeon one as well, that's cool. Um, but we are now, aside from, uh, what's that, See, uh, making history or whatever it's called, we are now quest ready to do Song of the Elves. So now we're basically working on these, um, these uh, skill levels, which we're not actually too far from on, on most of them. The smithings are the only main one, but that'll be quick once I've got the money. Um, and aside from that, we're just going to be working on a bit of wood cutting to try and get us the beaver pet. And also our stats, our combat stats, to try and get us uh, a bit more ready for Corrupted Gauntlet when we get there. So we're, we're actually getting pretty close to the Corrupted Gauntlet goal. I just fucking drop this guy and he just said get off the Adderall oh my god I'm not even like I'm bad at PKing right but I just fucking smoked that guy like I was on fucking Xanax oh my god that was crazy bro <laughs> I feel like I'm fucking I don't know 10.13 out here at the moment but I've just warmed up I'm trying to get a rune pouch that's why I'm here um, but just the last few, I've just been absolutely fucking cooking. I don't know why either. See ya, bitch! <laughs> I'm actually one of those, like, guys that gets, like, just way too aggy over the last man standing. Honestly. if it, I'm, it's, it brings out the inner Modern Warfare 2 uh, in me, doing this shit, honestly. Okay, right, I just got two points from that one, and I believe that should now be enough to get a room pouch? Oh, for goodness sake. Right, can we get the room pouch here? Uh, yes, yes I can. That's so exciting, right. I'm now, I'm just adding things like Thanos with the, uh, with the stones in terms of things that make me feel like a proper account, so... Uh, that's a dub, um, and that will mean my Guardians of Rift will be even smoother because now not only can I NPC contact since I got my mage up and Lunas, uh, but I can also keep all the runes in there. So uh, Guardians of Rift is about to become a lot better. Okay, there we go. There's making history completed. Which is three quest points, which is nice, but also the last thing we needed for Song of the Elves, other than the skill requirements. So that's what we're going to main be mainlining now. Right, there's a guy mowing his grass outside, but we've just finished the Watchtower quest. 15k magic XP, which is nice, but the main thing, four quest points, which is fucking crazy. And also, we've now unlocked the Watchtower teleport. Very useful. Right. This is taking so long, but there is 60 cooking. Not too long to go. If anyone knows any better cooking methods for the future, let me know, because I think until I've unlocked fishing, cooking is just going to be fucking brutal. Hold the fuck up. Why am I doing this? Why am I actually doing this? Because I can do... I can do, um... What's it, can I? I can just buy grapes at the Colomancer's chest now that I've, like, unlocked most of it. Oh my god. Yeah, I can buy seven per world, which is what? That must be... What, 1400 cooking XP or something? I think. So, yeah, that's gonna be... Way... <laughs> oh, well done. I've got no coins. <laughs> Did you know that Humidify requires Dream Mentor? I did not, uh, and that is why I'm now having to fill jugs of water by hand. Painful, uh, but this is still vastly superior to the uh, the mess hall, so once I can finally cash in all these jugs of wine, hopefully we'll be pretty close to the uh, 65 cooking goal. Okay, I think we're about to get the last bit of XP for 65 cooking. There it is. 
Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I can make wines of Zami. I doubt that's worth it. But now we can boost level 70 for the last part of recipe for disaster. Uh, King of Wo 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 Uh Yeah, so let's go and do that. So again, this is another extremely close call, but I can, so this is on the agility, brilliant. So this is on the agility course, um, and obviously, where the fuck am I ending? Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't have my Grigory attached. Ah, oh, pain, fucking painful. Okay, take two, but as a monkey this time. Um, the, this, uh, the Apatol agility course obviously actually gives a pet. However, it only gives a pet if you do that last obstacle. So as long as I don't click that, we're all good. So we're all good to go down here and get what we need from the bush. The monkey nut bush. So, there we go. What a treat. Okay, so we've got seven stews worth of spice to try and get the plus five boost. We got three stuffed snakes, so hopefully all this stuff is enough. Otherwise, this is going to be a bleak day having to uh, start from scratch and go and get all the stews and stuff. So, minus five, good start. <laughs> I've got one super restore as well, so that's it. After that, we're just we're just waiting. Uh, minus five again. Good, good job. Right, come on. If we can just get that kind of RNG, but in the opposite direction, that would be ideal. 67, not quite. Come on. Come on, I've never wanted anything more in my life. Uh, that just didn't do anything, did it? Okay. Come on. Come on. I believe. Why do I believe? I should not be believing. Believing is for the optimistic. 69! Get in the bin! Come on. On the last one. Can we get it on the last one, please? Fuck! <laughs> Just got 68 rune crafting at Guardians of the Rift. I'm looking forward to getting some death runes. Oh, and you can see what my uh, my stacks are, because it's probably the first time I've done Guardians Rift on the PC. I normally do it on mobile. Um, but we've never got anything from the rewards, Guardian, and this is what we're at. So my plan is to kind of, over time, get these to 4,000 and 4,000 each, but that'll take a long while, and about 96 rune crafting, I believe. Okay, we're back, and we're slightly better prepped this time. Um... Can we get the plus five cooking boost somehow? I doubt it with nine spicy uh, orange spices, but let's see what we can do. Watch me get it first go. Now I've gone and collected loads. Now that would still be good. 68. It is not looking good at the moment. <laughs> Why is my RNG so bad on this? Honestly, I swear it's about a 15% rate to get the plus 5 and I just can't get it for shit. Um, okay, two more goes at it, at least on this invent. I've got a little bit more orange spice in the bank, but not lots. Oh, come on. Last go on this invent, please. Yes! Go, cook! Oh my god, I fucking burnt one. Is that cooked? Yes! Yes! On the last one of the invent! Oh, I'm buzzing! Right, there we go. Time to get out of here. Right, do not eat the stuffed snake. Oh my god! Oh. Okay, take two at trying to hand in the snake and not eating it. Here we go, right, use that on a wogi. There we go. When do I get my quest reward? I think I should be getting a bunch of agility XP from this, which is good. I think I can now teleport to Apatol, which would be good as well. Yeah, 10k cooking XP, 10k agility XP, 
and access to a patel. Right, time to watch this cutscene. I won't make you guys watch it though. So I can't actually finish RFD because I haven't done Horror from the Deep and I don't have enough quest points. So I'll go and do that at some point. No rush though. Uh, have we got access to dragon gloves? I won't buy them, but yeah, look at those bad boys. They're so much cooler than Barrow's gloves. <laughs> okay, that quest was incredibly easy. I thought it was going to be a bit tricky. I remember doing it as a kid thinking, oh, God, this is hard work. And it really was not that bad. Right, let's go get a damaged book. Right, I've decided to start being a good person and actually doing my clue scrolls because I still need a power around me. Um, and some black dehyde before I hit 70 range would be pretty good for all the quests that I've got coming up. Nothing from that, but we'll go and do this hard clue now, or at least try to. Right, no luck with a hard clue, because I can't get the uh, the blue dehyde stuff easily. And I've got a hellhound task anyway, so if I do that, I'll just get another hard clue. So we're just going to drop that one. Lame! What the fuck? I just killed a random imp to try and get some ashes. <laughs> oh my god, that is imp kill number five on the account. LOL <laughs> Where's that RNG when I need it getting a getting a fucking pet? Oh my god. <laughs> I was literally just running over here to get some red berries. Oh that is bleak. That is bleak. Um I just went and did Doric's quest and um I'm getting the soft clay for Prince Allies Rescue. Um, and I just hopped into free to play to grab the clay uh, because I cannot roll the mining pet Getting clay in free to play. So uh, yeah, we're gonna keep doing these quests in there Right that was the easiest three quest points I've ever received Awesome right now just gotta get four more Okay, wrapping up Dwarf Cannon, just the one quest to do before 175 quest points and the end of Recipe for Disaster. Probably going to do Mist Hallin Mystery because it should take about 10 minutes. So uh, yeah, I'll see you with that at some point. But I'm about to go inside now and enjoy my weekend and not play RuneScape. So if I come back with something totally random, that's why. So I've got um, Stella with me at the moment. Uh, no, don't use that on her. Um, so I've got Stella with me at the moment, so if you hear anything in the background, that's what it is. Uh, but last night, whilst on mobile, huge changes in the farming arena. The bottomless bucket. Look at that. Uh, now, I don't want to restart now. Remind me tomorrow. Okay. Look at that bad boy. Look at that. Oh, that was so good. 15 kill count. Huge. I've never reacted so strongly in my life to... Uh, Hello. Um, to getting a bottomless bucket. So happy to have that on this account. Um, it's such a game changer. It just makes farming easy, like the, it just smooth. Um, so I'm really happy to have that. I absolutely love the fact that with this quest, they did like a Halloween event and went, "Oh my god, this is so good that we should put this in the game forever," even though it makes no fucking sense why it's in the game and why it's at Draenor Manor. So weird. Like, why are they like, oh my god. This is like crack. It's so good. Right, that's that quest done. So now we have the 175 for Recipe for Disaster and we can go and do that. Okay, so one of the main problems on this account is that our... Oh, for goodness sake, why are they... I, I can't reset that either. Um, so one of the main problems on this account is I can't get Karam ones, which are actually one of the sort of best methods of getting food relatively early, right? So the best thing I can do, I think, as a little substitute, is going to be um, to make pineapple pizzas. So pineapple pizzas heal 22 across two bites, but you can eat the bites really quickly, right? Um, so I think that's probably going to be the best way. Um, and I think via this chest, I can buy everything I need to make pineapple pizzas, except the pineapple, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, super interesting that I can uh, make pineapple pizzas that heal 22, which is like the same as a manta ray. So yeah, let's do that, and then we'll crack on with the Coloranomancer's challenge thing. Okay, scratch that. Turns out you can just buy five pizzas uh, at a time from the Warriors Guild, and then just upgrade them with a pineapple afterward. So uh, that'll be faster. 
Okay, my giga plan is also fucked because you can just buy potatoes, <coughs> potatoes with cheese here for, uh, and they heal 16 and they cost like nothing. So that's probably going to be the plan as well. <laughs> oh yeah, I totally forgot you couldn't use prayer in here. So hopefully this will be all right. Uh, I'm not really strong too much with this guy, but some of the other ones might be a bit more difficult. Tome of fires that I've got are coming in super clutch right now. I'm like hitting 24s on this thing is like absolutely game changing. And there is the end of Recipe for Disaster and Barrow's Gloves Unlocked, which means we can start Slayer properly now that I've got like actual best in slot gear. So there is the quest complete. Full access to Color and Matches Chest, Antique Lamp, which we're going to use on Agility for 64. Very nice. Trollheim Owners, Rope Divide. Okay, that's cool. Um, so we now have the 62 Agility that we need to uh, climb up Konar's Mountain, um, which is a big game changer in terms of how quickly we can get tasks. Um, but also, we now have... Oh fuck, I don't think I've got enough money, have I? <laughs> How much are they? Yeah, <laughs> rip. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll get some more cash and we will get those. Now. Okay, I managed to cobble together some, uh, some crap from my bank that I could alk to buy them. And there we are, Barrow's Gloves on the account. That is huge. What is... No, for fuck's sake. Uh, what is the stats on those bad boys? Plus 12 in all attacks and minus the plus 6 on mage, plus 12 in all defense, plus 6, plus 12 strength bonus. That is nutty. That is nutty. Um, okay, cool, right. Can we get a medium clue from this eclectic? Go on. Go on, medium clue. Useless. <laughs> All right, let's uh, decide what we're going to do next because that was sort of my main goal for this video and we're still three days early. So I might have kind of half described this earlier, um, but one of the things I've realised with this account and now the change they've made to ruinous powers so that you have to have rigor and augury is that I'm going to be so much stronger with melee than anything else because I'm going to have piety and I'm never going to have rigor and augury. Um, so with that being said, I think I kind of have to aim for a very sort of melee centric account, um, to do a lot of my DPS and because I'm going to suck <laughs> at mage and range pretty much. And I can't even get best in slot mage at all due to, um, ancestral being locked at chambers as well. Um, so I think kind of generally the goals are going to be quite melee centric. So I think, um... Theatre of Blood is going to be a big kind of goal that I want to get done quite quickly, quite early, because uh, the Avernic, the Scythe, the Rapier, they're all going to be pretty huge um, for the account. I'd also like to do Nex quite early as well and get full Torvar. I don't think that's too out of the question, really, since the uh, revelation that you can get the frozen key pieces without killing the bosses. Um, or like without killing the God Wars generals. Um, so, yeah, I think in terms of that, we have to stick to the more sort of melee-centric themes and try and bring our account to be a melee-heavy account and just hope that that will be useful for future content, <laughs> I guess. Because, um, yeah, I think, I think that's kind of the way we're headed. So I think I've kind of got to um, come up with a way to get to Theatre of Blood in decent gear as quickly as possible. Um, so sort of let me know a sort of bossing order down below that you think can get me um, to Theatre of Blood in some reasonable gear reasonably quickly. Um, yeah, let me know. I'll obviously have the Blade of Seldor, which is the main thing from Corrupted Gauntlet, but I don't think I really want to go in with just Void. <laughs> Um, I think that would be a bit depressing. Um, so let me know kind of what you think I need to do before Theatre of Blood. And there is 50 Slayer and a Brimstone Key. Very nice. Uh, yeah, really kind of going to try and push on with Slayer today. Oh, fuck, I thought that was going to be 75. 90 HP off. There we go. 75 strength as well. 
decent little milestone. I think I'm going to get 80, and then I'll probably get 70 attack after that. Okay, first time getting a Slayer task since we got up to uh, high agility levels. This is going to be so nice. Ugh. It's the little things, isn't it? The little things are so good. Oh, right, let's go get another task. See what we can get. I'm hoping for something in the catacombs and something I can burst. Bloodveld, which is correct, but in God Wars Dungeon, which is really bleak because I don't know if I've got access necessarily to god items and stuff. Okay, right, we'll have to see what we can do about that. Okay, right, first time going into God Wars Dungeon. I think I just need to leg it over there and I should be alright. Right, let's go! I don't have a Bando's item, which is my main issue, otherwise I could chill around here and kill those. But... Uh, luckily I got 70 hit points last task, otherwise I'd be screwed. Um, right, but I've got... Zamorak Monk to Robe Bottoms, so I should be alright over here with these Bloodfelds. Nice. You are fucking joking. <laughs> I can't attack them until I've regened my Slayer. For fuck's sake, right, what level is it for Bloodfelds? I think it's 50, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant, right, so I've just got to wait around for four minutes. Thanks, thanks. Hey, we got our first hard casket. Let's uh, let's go and see what it is. That's exciting. I uh, don't really care about uniques, to be honest. Just some black dehyde would be great, to be honest. That's kind of the main thing. I want even some uh, uh, some rune items would be pretty good because I'm pretty low on cash at the moment. Let's see what we can get. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't it open? That's so annoying. As if I got a full black dehyde set and Saranom in dehyde boots on my first fucking clue. Are you fucking joking? And 15 shot. That's mental. Why didn't it open? Oh, that's so annoying. Still though, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, that's so good. That's literally everything that I want from Hard Clues. What in the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's so nuts. Okay, this is what I actually got from the clue. That's so nuts. I'm so... <laughs> Can I wear those? No, I don't think it's 70 range. So as soon as I hit 70 range, I'm going to be fucking kitted out. That's wild. These are going to be my best in slot boots, basically, until I get Pegasians, which is a long, long way away. That is so cool. Oh, that is nice. Our first barrage, oh, well, burst task on this account. Uh, I'm pretty much 70 magic, so I might just get that ahead of time and then just ice, ice burst that task. But that is nice. Uh, can I get bigger and badder? How many points is that? Uh... Oh, 150. That's annoying. That's going to be our first unlock, though. Right, and here is 70 magic. Time to go burst our... In fact, now I might do the clue scroll first and then burst the uh, burst the jellies. So, that was a fun task, and we got quite a lot of magic XP, so if we can get a few more of those sorts of tasks, that would be great. Blue dragons and the ogre enclave. Uh, I'll see if I want to skip that or not. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, we'll skip that. That looks really miserable. It's like they're really far spaced apart. I do, I do the blue dragons anywhere else, but I don't think there is going to be very fun. So, 130 trolls. Is that the Chambers of Zarek place? I think so. Right, that shouldn't be too bad. And there is 55 Slayer, which I think is a level for Turoth Snow. Yeah, so we don't really unlock anything too interesting until Cave Horrors, um, but we're getting pretty close, uh, 49 to 55 in just like, you know, four or five hours, so not too bad, and we'll be at 58 soon. Right, that's bigger and badder purchased, and we're also going to skip this Greater Demon task, because I don't fancy it, please give me something good. <sighs> that's got to be like the worst task possible. <laughs> oh, I'm so tempted to just reset my streak on that as well. 
56 Slayer, really pushing through it. Right, we just got our next hard casket. Hopefully we can get something good. This time I'm not going to... I don't think I pressed anything last time. I just think it didn't come up. There we go. Lunar Isle teleports. They're pretty cool. And we got the full black dehyde again. That's just bizarre. I uh, love the rune legs though because I need cash badly. That is literally all my coins. Oh, just AFKing some ammonite crabs whilst I do some work. And we just hit 65 range. I need to get 70 for that black dehyde and my crystal bow and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I won't take too long. Oh, and I just missed the recording. But there is 77 strength and 83 combat. 57 Slayer, one level to go until the Black Mask will be ours. It's going to speed up Slayer so much. Um, I also decided to swap to attack so that I could level my combat a bit easier. Um, so I want to get 85 combat so I can use Neve uh, because Konar is just too slow. And if I get things like Blood Veld, so I want to be able to burst them. Um, and if I'm being assigned stupid ass locations for them, I can't do that. Um, so the, uh, the more Slayer tasks I can do in the catacombs, the better. 63 attack, and I believe 84 combat. Right, just one more combat level until we can start using Neve, and that will make things a lot easier and a lot faster in terms of the Slayer XP. Nearly at the 58 Slayer, um, so we'll have the Black Mask relatively soon. Now we're on like the fifth step of this uh, hard clue and we just got the strange old man step at Barrows and supposedly they've released some new mini quest that gives you like 20k per hour XP for just doing all six Barrows brothers. So I feel like I'd be kind of an idiot not to just do that. Is it this one? His faithful servants. So yeah, I think there's no, I don't really have a problem doing that. That should be easy enough with uh, with my Tome of Fire, etc. Um, so I think I'll just go and knock that out whilst I'm doing this. I actually need this 20 quay K prior XP for rum deal as well, which I need to do for uh, the black mask. So this is pretty handy because you need 47 prayer for uh, rum deal. So this couldn't have come up better. Okay, right. We don't actually need anything from Barrows, but if we could get some tank, I thought I actually got something then. Hello, Phoebe. It's dinner time, is it? Okay, I'll be na I'll be in now. Okay. Love you, chicken. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Never done this before, so let's see. Okay. What? Oh, that's my lamp. Okay. 20,000 per hour XP. Nice. There we go. And it got me to exactly 47, which is handy. Cool. Right. Uh, right, let's open our chest as well. See what we get. Oh, that's so good. Oh, my God. Hard clues are really treating me nicely. Wow. That is very cool. And purple sweets, our first purple sweets. That's very nice. Oh, <laughs> getting spooned. If I can get some blessed dehyde legs soon, that would be so sick. Oh my god. Here we go with 58 Slayer, and that is the level for Cave Horrors, right? So it might be time to go and do some quests. So I think the first one I've got to do is a rum deal. Oh, which I've got to do Zoga Flesh Eaters for. That is tedious. Okay, right, so it looks like we've got about three quests to do until we can uh, get to Cave Horrors. Right, so I think we'll give it a, uh, we'll, uh, we'll call it a day there. Um, it's been an interesting week. The clue RNG was fucking crazy. Getting all this stuff is absolutely massive um, for the sort of ongoing uh, range adventure that we're about to em embark on. Um, and we also got a shitload of quests done, um, and these are what the total levels are looking like now. I reckon next week we can pretty easily push for uh, 1600. Um, yeah, that'd be that'd be no problem. Uh, the rune crafting is getting really, really close to 75, and I'm very excited for that because giant pouch at Guardians of the Rift is going to be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll persevere on with the Slayer because essentially I basically have to get my magic up to 82 for Song of the Elves anyway so I can use Blood Blitz and make uh, the Fragment of Saren fight decent even with my shit gear. Um, and aside from that, we still just need to be working on the Song of the Elves requirements. That's the mining levels, the smithing levels, uh, the herb lore levels and the agility levels, I believe. Um, but yeah, we're getting there, um, and I think we're going to start making a bit of a push on the beaver next week as well, because the RNG, I mean, not the RNG, the drop rate for the beaver is about 
20, 20 million woodcut and XP. So likelihood is we're going to be going past 99 to get it. Um, so I really need to start making a push on that sooner rather than later. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you next time.